Hello everyone. Uh, so this video is going to be about how to set up some uh, custom font in your application using the React Native uh, CLI. So I mean, with Expo or uh, uh, Create React Native uh, app, it's going to be pretty straightforward. But sometimes uh, I get some question about uh, doing this for the React Native CLI. So the one uh, you start by doing React Native uh, init uh, in the name of your application. So this is what we're gonna do uh, tonight. It's gonna be pretty straightforward and kind of easy. I mean, like five lines of code, that's it. So uh, I just set up a new project. So like I just show you, I did React Native uh, init, uh, the name of the application. So I call just that my phone. And I run the application on iOS by doing React Native run iOS. And after that, I open my simulator right there. So now what are we gonna do for start? It's how can we set up font? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a folder. So it's a, a brand new, and if you don't understand, and in fact I have app.js and index.js, it's just because of the React Native 49, it's this way now. You don't have any more uh, index Android and index iOS. So we're gonna create a folder called assets, and I'm gonna create inside that a folder called fonts. Inside this one, I'm gonna put some basic font because like <laughs> we don't like this one. It just don't look good enough. So I'm gonna go there and uh, on the Google font, font.google.com, and I'm gonna search for maybe like Montserrat. So I want to add this font. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on select this font. I'm gonna open this thing by clicking on the ta uh, black tab, and I'm gonna click on download right there. After that, I'm gonna show in Finder. I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna take uh, my um, uh, this is almost this is all the file we have. So I'm gonna just delete this one. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on my uh, folder of my application, so the one where I have everything. And I'm gonna do open dot. So I have my folder right there. I'm gonna open asset and font. And now what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna open my Montserrat right there. And I'm gonna do command A to take everything, command C, and command V to paste everything there. I'm gonna close this one, and now if you see there, I can click on fun, and now I'm gonna get all the fun right there. Perfect. So now we we did one thing: we put the fun on the application, but now the application don't know how we can use it. So this is what we're gonna do, and by doing this, we're gonna just add some line here right inside the package that JSON. So I'm gonna say rnpm for React Native. Uh, uh, finally, it's the thing when React Native run the link. And I'm gonna say asset, so the name of uh, finally this is asset. And here I just need to put the folder uh, from where that's gonna came. So I'm gonna say asset that font. That's it, nothing more to do. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my item, and I'm gonna need to run React Native link. So by doing this now, that's gonna create a group resource inside my Xcode project. And now that's gonna do also the same for Android. I'm gonna show you at the end of this episode, Android, you work too. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open iOS, that Xcode project, and I'm gonna show you in Xcode what that what this command have done for us. <clears throat> so Xcode right there, I've created a resource folder here and I've put all the fun we just put right there. Nothing more. But now what I need to do, because we have touched the native part, we're going to run React Native run iOS again to let the application uh, know that we did some native change. So this is almost always the same. When you will work with React Native and you link a, a native library, you need always to run this command. So now you see here nothing has changed because I didn't tell my application to use it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm gonna create a folder called, uh, sorry, C. Example, we create a, a project. I'm gonna have a user folder, and inside this one, I'm gonna maybe have like a fun.js, so where I'm gonna have all my fun. So I'm gonna say I have a variable called uh, funds, and I'm gonna export some variable name here. So I'm gonna say Montserrat. One second, really bad in English. Montserrat with two R, yeah, like that. And I'm going to say the name of this, finally, it's going to be the name of you put here. So I'm going to say the Montserrat by default. So Montserrat 
I think I write it good. Yeah. I'm going to just click on my regular and I'm going to click enter. And then you just want to have the same name. And I'm going to put like that. So my Montserrat variable is going to equal to this Montserrat regular. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my app.js. So where everything starts. And I'm going to import my font coming in from my src.util.font. Like that. And now you see the welcome. It's this thing here. So I'm going to just put like that. So the welcome here, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to say font family equal font that Monsi wrap. I'm going to save and I'm going to refresh my screen. And that's it. You see that change. It's not the same anymore. Uh, anymore. So if you see, that was the, the, the one native one. And now if I save this one and I refresh, you see that change. So I can use this one too for this one right there. So that change, maybe that don't look too much because it's pretty, uh, like, I mean, it looks the same. So I'm going to use the bold one. So enter, I'm going to take the bold here. I'm going to say mon syrup bold equal this value. And now here, what I'm going to say is so I'm going to say that equal mon syrup bold. So the welcome. And now if I refresh, boom, you see. So now that become uh, the font we choose. So the one uh, we just done, just by doing this little command, and you don't need to do any more thing. If you want to add another kind of font, you go to Asset, Font, you add your other uh, TTF uh, file, and you put, uh, and you do our uh, React Native link. So now I'm going to do the same for Android. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Genie Motion. So Android is going to work too. I mean, I just want to show you then it worked too. So I'm going to open the Genie Motion, a Google Pixel version. So for the one who just want to see that in the iOS, you can like almost stop the video right now. I mean, because this thing is just for showing that it worked too on Android. But I'm sure if you work on React Native, it's because you want to work on both platforms. So, so here I'm going to just run React Native on Android. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna run the code. I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna just, uh, I don't think, no, almost done. 79. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna come in back when it's done. This is done, and now you see that change. Right there, the, 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 the application font family, because by default, it's the Roboto. If you want to see, I'm going to uncomment this one. Now, if I click two times on R, you see that was the one by default. Now, if I put back my Montserrat bow, now this is the value you have. Well, now, you can do whatever you want with all the font you put there. So, I think it's a really good way to manage your font. I mean, it's pretty easy. So, if you don't use Expo or create React Native, uh, create React Native app, will make your life really easy for that. I think this one is the best and the more easy way to make it on your React Native project. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and we talk later. Have a good night everyone. Bye.